So another significant snowfall in the days ahead, looking a bit less likely now, but uh, don't take my word for it. Let's bring in the expert. Mike, what's the latest? Hannah, we have been talking about how this was a volatile setup from the get-go of complicated forecast. We had the potential for historic snow if it tracked one way or maybe some flurries and light snow showers if it tracked the other. And it looks like that's how we are going to end this whole mess of a forecast. Let's get right into it. We've got some snow showers moving through right now. I'm actually surprised to see some of these snow showers making their way uh, through Somerset and Piscataquis counties, starting to see flurries all the way to the international border near Jackman now, and then from Greenville over to the Katahdin region, maybe even some flurries near Millinocket and south to Bangor, trying to connect with these snow showers that are just off the coast of the Penobscot Bay and Hancock County. So keeping an eye on that, don't think it's really going to be too big of an issue. Behind this, there's more snow through the capital region of New York State, the Berkshires of Western Massachusetts, and that's what ultimately moves through. You can actually see the circulation of that developing low pressure here, and that's going to track well to our south and east overnight and through tomorrow. When all said and done, we do end up with some snow showers here. Some are moving through right now, keeping mostly cloudy skies conditions around through the overnight hours. Through the morning, I'm expecting more flurries, even though the models, are, well, this particular model rather isn't showing those flurries making it to the coastline. I still expect at least some snow, especially through southwestern Maine. Temperatures tomorrow still make it into the 30s. We do actually break up some of the cloud cover late in the day, and then that storm spins away and ultimately brings some clouds and light snow on Tuesday and Wednesday, unlike the potential that was there for some heavier snow. Here's the snow forecast through tomorrow evening. A dusting to an inch from Rangeley all the way down to Bar Harbor. Didn't really change this map much, but I did drag this one to three inches uh, region south just a little bit more. So mostly York County, that's really the spot to watch for a solid inch or so of snow. Here's the storm on Monday afternoon and notice it runs into this high pressure and actually tracks back toward the coast of Maine, but it still stays too far away to have any real meaningful impact on our weather, which means we just see light snow showers and maybe some morning flurries on Wednesday as it departs. So that means we've got a second snow map. This is for Tuesday and Wednesday before that system actually moves away. I dragged the one to three inch range down a little bit, mainly route two and south at this point, still keeping an eye on the mid coast to Augusta for maybe some higher amounts, four or five inches could potentially get mixed in there. Thursday and Friday, quiet weather on the way, tracking another storm on Saturday, but again, still think it could miss us to the south. Seas tomorrow, four to six feet, northeast wind 15 to 20 knots. There's your seven day forecast inland, blustery Wednesday, clearing Thursday, sunny Friday, and then we're watching that storm Saturday, but just the way that it's setting up makes me think it's going to miss to the south. The good news is with the cold weather on the way, ski resorts will be able to make snow, so at least the winter activities won't get interrupted like they did on Christmas. Similar idea at the coastline, still looking for the potential of that storm next week, depending on how it tracks. Hannah, the bottom line here is that we've got maybe the chances for more cold weather and another active storm track for the end of the month. So if you're a snow lover, don't give up hope just yet. It's only the beginning of January.